Hi guys, my name is Matthew Baker. I'm going to be showing you how to take out the climate control module in your uh, Mercedes W210 E-Class. This vehicle in particular is a 1997 Mercedes E320. Uh, if you're working on the E320 from this uh, roughly about this year range, um, the 1996 and 1997 model years are very similar. This probably also applies to a lot of other Mercedes-Benz chassis, the R129 SL class, the W123 E class, the, the predecessor chassis to, to this car, the W140 S class, for instance, um, they probably all share very similar electronic functions. This system is probably very similar to, uh, to what we have in the 1997 W210 E320. So given that, let's go ahead and get started. So that's our little climate control module. You really don't need many tools for this job at all. Actually, you only really need one. Um, in this case, you'll see here, there's uh, two little slots. And basically those are clips in here that hold in this entire climate control system, um, securing it into the dash to prevent theft. Mercedes supplies um, small keys that you can actually insert in here. You could probably pick them up on eBay for, you know, 10 or $15. But if you don't want to wait for the shipping and you just want to get the project done, um, you can just use what I have here, which is just a, uh, an old-fashioned switchblade. And just be very careful with this. You know, it's obviously not the correct, um, the correct tool for it. So just be careful when you're in there, but it should release the clips. And uh, again, all you have to do is just take the uh, take the metal piece, stick it in, and all you do is just wiggle it around a little bit, and you should hear a click. Once you hear that click, all you need to do is just pry it forward a little bit. And this will take a little bit of, uh, of time and patience, but once you get one side, which you see I've just gotten, you know, you don't want to pry too hard because this is 20 year old plastic we're dealing with. So you can see that's already out a little bit. The next side here, at least on my car, is a little bit trickier. Um, I've done this before and I actually broke the little plastic piece inside here. This little knob or this little uh, button will actually come off so just for the ease of doing this I'm just going to remove the auto button off here also so I don't continue breaking the plastic because I would like to retain that function so just a simple little button and as you could see here this used to have plastic but my last uh, time I pulled this out I broke a little piece so just stick the tool in here and using the other side, just pry it out. And then it just pulls out like so. You can see the electrical connections on the back on both sides. Um, so yeah, I've done this before, so I already know that this is stock, that nobody's really messed with this before. If you haven't done so, it might be a wise idea to disconnect your battery. Uh, make sure that you know your radio code, because if you disconnect the battery, you know, obviously your radio is going to require a code. So um, in this case, you know, you can easily just take off these connectors here. Um, you know, they just snap, snap right off and you can replace your module. Um, the issue that I was having in particular is that the light, the light that lights up this uh, screen was out and it became very annoying driving at night without, uh, you know, seeing what my temperature was. The light bulb is, actually it's housed right here in this little, um, in this little socket. So all you do is you just take it and you turn it. It's a little harder with gloves. But as you can see, that's the light bulb. And again, it just goes right back in here. There's no electronics on it. It's just a simple contact that uh, makes contact with the assembly. Turn it back in. You know, once you have your whole system back together, just push it in, 
it should click like so. I'll put my little button back on here. That works. And that's all there is to it. So I hope that video helped. Again, uh, be careful. This is 20 year old plastic. It is going to crack. It is going to break. Um, but that's just a simple procedure for doing that without having to purchase the Mercedes Benz keys. All right. Hope that video was informative. And uh, I'll try to do some more projects here um, so I could help you guys out some more. All right. Thanks and have a great day.